Hi, this is Julia. Welcome to Azing News. Timor Leste have the chance to export its product to Indonesia. Oktober Inus Manik, the Indonesian ambassador to Timor Leste, explained this on a live video conference with the theme "Is Java Timor Leste Trade and Investment Opportunities and Challenges." Okto Dorinus Mani clarified the purpose of the video conference is an initiation to introduce both nations entrepreneurs before cooperate on the economic issues, especially on the import and export activities between Timor Leste and East Java, Indonesia. Hari ini webinar yang kami lakukan dengan teman-teman. Today, we and our business friends from East Java and Timor Leste are preparing for a business mission visit. On this occasion, we are preparing ourselves through Zoom meeting. So that our friends from Timor Leste and East Java get to know each other before the visit, we can take a look at the cooperation opportunities. The Vice President of Timor Leste's Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Kathleen Gonsalves, said, "Services cooperation between the two countries is an opportunity for Timor Leste to promote Timorese products in another country." The online video conference was attended by Indonesian ambassadors to Timor Leste and Timorese entrepreneurs. Timor Resources Company continues oil drill progress in Suai. Andrew Serkson, the Commercial Private Advisory Director of Timor Resources, explained after his meeting with the Timorese President Jose Ramos Horta and informed Horta about the oil well drilling progress in Suai, Timor Leste. Uh, the meeting was um, very fruitful. Uh, he provided us with some advice and we gave him a full briefing of Timor Resources, the current state of Timor Resources joint venture with their partner Timor Gap Onshore Block and Timor Gap. In 2015, Timor Resources Company, contracted by the Timor Gap, a state oil company, based on a ministerial council resolution, and in 2016 established an agreement with the government to become a partner in this oil project. In the meantime, Timor Resources Company continued the drilling activities for three oil wells located in Otai, Kamnasa, Labarai, of Suai, Timor Leste, and it has planned that at the early February 2023, the Timor Resources Company will continue to drill the wells for 305,000 meters for the last oil well in Suai, then conduct the quality test. Timor's president urges Timor's youth to continue to learn and participate in the country's development. Timorese president urges the young Timorese to motivate themselves and continue to learn from the developed country's experiences in order to prepare for a great future. Horta expresses that after participating and launched the Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative program at the early of February 2023. Mostly the young people, they need to learn from their ASEAN friends. This program has been running for some years. Some 60 Timorese young have already participated. It depends on the learning quality and commitment to this program by the young Timorese. In addition, Tom Daly said, this program has been previously organized by the organization in Southeast Asia, including Timor-Leste, to invest in priority areas to support the development of the country. The United States is very happy to have organized a workshop here in Timor-Leste for the Young Southeast Asians Leaders Initiative. This is a program that was started in 2013 and it started to include Timor-Leste in 2018. This is, oh, sorry, go ahead. Altogether, there are delegates from the 10 ASEAN countries in Timor-Leste totaling 50. Uh, YSILI works in a number of different fields uh, in terms of economic development, uh, and health issues, and in this case, we're working on agricultural issues. 
Now the United States of America started to promote the experience and training for 50 young people through the empowerment of economic entrepreneurship, social entrepreneurship, education and environment event. This program was launched in 2013, then Timorese young people had the opportunity to participate in a conference at the Southeast Asia level. China will continue to support Timor-Leste for export. After a meeting with the Timorese president, Jose Ramos Horta, the Chinese consular minister in Timor-Leste, Xu Danyang, said China ready to continue to support Timor-Leste to export local products, especially coffee, to the international market, as Timorese coffee product is unique and have a good quality. And we will introduce more Timor-Leste pro pro product, such as coffee, to China. And, uh, you know, during the 2021, uh, 340 tons of Timor-Leste coffee exported to China, up 100, 140% year on year. I think it will have a better future. And the China, Chinese market is very huge for Timor-Leste. And we also talk about uh, uh, other things. And uh, President Horta, and here uh, said that Timor-Leste government will adhere to one China principle and respect sovereignty of China and uh, want to uh, promote our bilateral relations to a higher level. Xu Yang added that Timorese president is very grateful to this program to increase Timor-Leste's economic growth so it can ensure long-term food sustainability. Previously, China has supported seventy thousand dollars to increase the coffee production in Timor Leste. During two thousand twenty-one, Timor Leste exported three hundred forty tons of coffee to China, or with one hundred forty percent year year. Then the Chinese businessman whom in Timor Leste will continue to support the promotion of Timor Leste's coffee. Malaysian Prime Minister have a meeting with the Philippines President. Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim arrived in Manila for a two-day official state visit to the Philippines. This is Anwar's first visit to the Philippines as Malaysia's 10th Prime Minister and also the first of head government to visit Manila under the Marcos administration. During his visit, Anwar and Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. are set to discuss areas of mutual concern such as political, security and economic cooperation. Anwar is also expected to hold a public lecture at the University of the Philippines before he leaves Manila. Malaysian Prime Minister says Myanmar crisis affecting regional security. Malaysia's Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim said the ongoing crisis in Myanmar was affecting the region's security and welfare and new ways must be found to persuade its military rulers to work with the ASEAN to achieve peace. After meeting Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. in Manila, Anwar said he appreciated his counterpart's reiteration that five-point peace plan agreed between the ASEAN and Myanmar's junta must be implemented. We agreed to continue our cooperation on political, sec political and security matters, rekindling the joint commission meetings and joint initiatives to combat transnational crime and terrorism. Myanmar has been beset by social, political and economic chaos since its military overthrew an elected government in 2021, while the 10-member bloc of ASEAN has barred Myanmar's generals from attending its high-level meetings. Malaysia, a vocal critic of the junta, has called for a stringent action. The generals have reacted angrily to what it calls interference by ASEAN members. Vovan Tuan Sor In as Vietnam's new president. Vietnam's National Assembly elected Vo Vang Thuong as the country's new president in a reshuffle of the country's top leadership amid a sweeping anti-graft campaign. In an extraordinary session, lawmakers confirmed Thuong 52 after the ruling Communist Party nominated him as a president, a largely ceremonial role, but one of the top four political positions in the Southeast Asian nation. In his first speech to the parliament as a new president, Thuong said he will continue to fight against corruption. Tong is the youngest member of the party's Politburo, the country's top decision-making body, but is considered a veteran of the party, having begun his political career at university in communist youth organizations. Thank you very much. See you soon.